Hello everybody, the One Red Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play 4, Kingdom Hearts 3. In the last episode, we... I don't know if we finished the DLC, like, Remind, but we finished, like, parts of it, and it, it looks like there's more for, of the DLC, so... We haven't completely finished it, so... We're just gonna save... And we're gonna continue on. A limit cut episode is now available in the DLC menu. Uh, so are we done with it? Let's just see what this is. Well, look at you. Thanks. I finally fulfilled my promise to you. You did. Now there's nothing left for me to teach you. You're a true Keyblade Master. Not to mention a great leader to those around you. You've even found the strength to save your friends. It's not enough. The very fact that you were able to make your way here proves just how strong you are. That is why I called for you. Well, that's the reason? You expected more? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you two. What's so funny? It's a secret. Oh, come on, tell me. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Yes, but don't worry. I'm not alone this time. Good luck. But if we still remember him, then he must still be with us. Yes, that would stand to reason. But we've been searching everywhere for Sora, and we haven't found a single clue. If he's really out there, don't you think we would have found something by now? Hmm... Sid's been looking into the data for a year now. Aren't the people at the castle doing the same thing? No one's found anything yet? Well, it's outside their field of expertise. Come on, Sid! 
Can you throw us a bone here, please? Be quiet! I'm trying! I'm this close to something, I know it! <sighs> Sid, you are a million times worse than a broken record! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how are the others? Well, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy are searching for clues in every past world that Sora's been to. Terra, Ven, and Aqua went to the Realm of Darkness, and the Twilight Town gang are studying Roxas and Shion's memories. And what about Kyrie? <sighs> Kyrie. She believes her heart might hold a clue about Sora. For a year, she's been sound asleep while they search her heart. So there's been no progress. <sighs> what in the... Huh? What in the world is this? What is it? This computer, the one in Twilight Town, and the one in the castle are all connected to the same network. They sent me all of their data, and I merged it with the stuff I already had, and looky here. Oh, Sora? Sora's inside the computer? No, no, that's just the data I constructed based on Sora and his fighting abilities. So you gave us a heart attack for nothing? <sighs> no, that group Sora was fighting, uh, you know, uh, battalion something? Well, I recreated their data, too. The real Organization 13. Maybe their data will lead us to where Sora is. Well, it crossed my mind, but I must be better at this than I thought, because their data? It's so powerful, I can't access any of it. Can you use Sora's data to gain access? Oh, good idea. Worth a shot. Yeah, let's try it. All right, so apparently we're controlling uh, Rock, uh, I mean, Riku. I didn't think their data would be recreated too. If it's the real organization, I wish I could take them on instead. Sora's data will pull it off somehow. After all, it's Sora. Is there any chance? that we could be of some help? Uh, well, let's try and begin data analysis. Wait. Um This is what I'm thinking of. I don't know if I'll be able to actually beat every single one of these bosses cuz they are really hard. I guess I need to check these. Well, we'll we'll just try one and see if I can do do any of them. You cannot win. Okay. Well, uh, I, I didn't actually heal that time, so I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
stop. Is this the end of your uh, I, I'm gonna try a few times because even though this is really hard, I don't know if I'll be able to get past like this, all these bosses, and like continue the cutscenes. Oh, come on. I'm going to keep trying the different ones and see which which fights I can do. Okay, so Let's try this one. Dark Riku. I'll show you how powerful I am. Come on! I'm done with you! One more! You ah, got him! You like it? <laughs> Ah, you like it? Got him later. Don't you think back? Back at you later. Come on. Ah, I think this is for people who like who are really good at RPGs and really good at this game who are able to beat all of these. But I don't think I'm good enough to to beat these like organization 13 members. Am I the only a few? Oh boy. Okay, this is good. On the moon's pale light. Oh, I can't Fight attack him. Abandon hope. Ah, oh, great. You know what? I've tried a few, so I'm sorry, but I I will not be able to be all of these like organization organization thirteen members. I'm just really not that good enough to beat all of them. But I do want to uh, go back to the tile screen, and I will show off like another new feature that that is for the um... wait data greeting. I want to see what that is. I guess there is something else. Introducing data greeting. Oh, uh, this, this is just like a photo thing where you can uh, put characters in like certain photos and like interact with them, so. I'm not gonna worry, bother about that, so I do want to start a new game. And, uh. I'm just gonna go with t standard mode. Okay, I'll meet you guys back in like the first uh, battles or like stuff because I want to show off the 
new like stuff with the DLC, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this is one thing that's different, like when you're going through the beginning, like of like choosing like which playstyle you want to do, and uh, this is new. So choose your playstyle. What kind of adventure do you seek? You answer will determine your playstyle. Usual adventure number one: play without using the DLC premium menu, and number two: easy adventure: play using the easy codes in the DLC premium menu. Use features like auto HP MP recovery for an easier game experience. And the th third one is challenging adventure. You play using your pro codes when the DLC menu, premium menu, using features like defense, all, defense always being z set to zero for, for a more challenging game experience. So yeah, this is one thing that's different. So obviously choosing this is like doing like the normal adventure without any codes, and this is the easy, and this is the challenging one. So obviously I wouldn't go for that one because I'm not that good at this game. So. I'm gonna go with the easy adventure. Easy adventure, an easier path to, to filling your object objectives of this adventure you seek. Yes. All right, now I'm gonna be right back when I get to like get some gameplay. Okay, so here is the easy codes. Uh, premium menu, easy codes. There are two general types of easy codes. Find the codes you want to use and then set them freely. Battle codes, co codes that affect battles such as auto HP MP recovery and auto blocking enemy attacks. Codes that deal with non battle related game elements such as setting all items, shops, optional items at half price. Merits can be earned by completing certain challenges using easy codes. Aerial challenge, uh. Okay, so. This is Deadly Bow, basically like a one hit knockout, an auto block, HP regen. MP regen, focus regen, form char, cha charge, traction pass, ghost combination, overflow, everlink, AP free, survival, cooking master, um, Shop discount, gummy ship meister, so yeah this makes it so like your gummy ship is like at level 99 so yeah, let's try that out so obviously every enemy will be done, done right away Okay, watch this. Just like that. And I'm good for now. Okay, so here we are at the Hercules world again and I'm obviously not going to go for like go through the whole entire game all, all over again just with like the easy codes, but I am going to like continue like as far as I can for like the rest of this video. So yeah, we we basically plow through these guys. And yeah, also uh I'm gonna go to like equipping. I'm gonna switch with heavy gear for right now, even though we don't need to, but. That's yeah, just gonna explain everything again. I'm gonna skip this cutscene.
So I'm going to go for, do this for like 10 more minutes. Yeah, it's just showing the save point stuff. Yeah, as you saw, like our health regenerated after we got hit. And we can just grab nice. a chest, why not? Everyone's leveling up so fast. Just here. Yeah. I don't need any potions. I don't know why I'm getting in any of these chests when we clearly don't need them. Okay. It's been a while since I played this world, so I kind of lost. I should have used this the first time I came through here. Yeah. 
Yep. I think I must have missed an area here. Yeah, I haven't got through here yet. Ready? Here goes! Oh. Ah. Ah. Gorge, I hope they got insurance. If there's anybody else stuck out here, we better find them fast. Again, we don't need any of these potions or high potions. And also, like, one thing I know, I think I do know that there is a few, like, secret bosses that I never showed off, but this isn't, like, 100% thing, like, I'm not 100%ing or, you know, like, I just wanted to completely, complete the game and do the DLC. That's it, and also show this off. Okay, so yeah, I think that's all I wanted to show off for like the cheats codes and stuff. So yeah, this is basically the last part of my Kingdom Hearts 3 Let's Play. I'm so sorry I couldn't like do any of the data bosses. I I'm just not that good, that good enough at this at this game. So yeah, that'll be it. So if you like this Let's Play, be sure to su subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment about what have you thought of the series. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for like when I still keep doing the uh, Skyward Sword video. So yeah, have a wonderful day guys and peace out.